Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at multiplying 2 by 2 matrices. So we've previously said that we have this matrix and when we have a matrix it has an order. And we said a matrix of, is of an order of some number of rows and then it's multiplied by some number of columns. So if we go down to this matrix here, we know it's got a row which goes from left to right and it's got one, two rows. So we would say this matrix is of order, it has two rows and then it's multiplied by this one, two columns. So it's got one, two columns, so this is a two row, two column matrix and we call it a two by two matrix. Then the one here on the right, you know, it's the same, so it's got one, two rows and one, two columns, so we say that this is also a two by two matrix. So this was really important because when we're multiplying these matrices together, we need some things to happen before we can actually multiply them. And one was these inner two numbers here, so at two by two, and our 2 by 2, these two numbers here, so this 2 and this 2, they need to be the same. And we said if they're not the same, then we can't multiply them. But these are the same in this case, so they're both 2. So we can multiply these matrices together. And then what we said is that if we do multiply them together, then what we're going to get is we're going to get a resulting matrix. So the matrix which we get after we've multiplied these together is going to be these outside numbers. So it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So we multiply a 2 by 2 matrix together, and our resulting matrix is going to be 2 by 2. So we can kind of draw that up now. We know that we can multiply these together, and we're going to get a 2 by 2 matrix. So when we are multiplying matrices together, it's quite complex and tricky the first time you do it. But we're going to do this example slowly, and hopefully by the end of it, you can kind of follow along and understand what's actually going on. So when we are multiplying a 2 by 2 with another 2 by 2, we're taking our rows and we're multiplying them by our columns. So doesn't really make much sense, but we're going to take each number in our rows and multiply it with the corresponding number in a column. So where we'll look at that is we've got our first row and our first column, we've got the number 1. We're going to multiply that with our second matrix, we're going to go to our first row, first column, and we've got the number 5. So our first term is going to be 1 multiplied by 5. And then what we do is we add to that. So we add our next number. So we're saying it's 1 multiplied by 5, and we're going to add our next term. So our next term is going to be our next term in the row. So in this case, it's going to be our 2. And then we're going to multiply that by the next term in our column and the next term in our column is 7. So we've got 2 multiplied by 7. And that's going to be our first and our first multiplied by our second and our second. And that takes us to the end of our first column. But we always start with rows first. So now we've started with this row, multiplied it by this column. We're going to use this row and we're going to multiply it by the next column. So we say our first number in our first column is 1. We multiply that by our first number in our second column. So the first number in our second column is going to be 6. So we multiply those two together and we put it there. And then we're going to add to that the next number in the row multiplied by the next number in the column. So our next number in our row is going to be 2. So we've got 2 which is here and we're going to multiply it by our next number in the column which is 8. So we have 2, and then we multiply it by 8. And then we add that to our first term. So you can see it's 1 times 6 plus 2 times 8. And then we add them together. So then our next term, we're going to have, we're going to start with our second row. So we've completed our first row, so we go so here and we say that's completed because we've completed both columns. So what we need to do now is we need to complete our second row. So if we go down to our second row, we say we've got the number 3 here, and we know we're multiplying our first uh, term in our row with our first term in our column. So we say we've got the number 3. We're going to multiply that with the first term in our column, and that is the number 5. So it's first term in the row, first term in the column. We multiply them together. And then we're going to add to that, we've got our second term in our row, which is 4. So we add this, we've got our 4, and we're going to multiply that by our second term in our column, which is 7, and we're going to 
add that as well. And then we say first term's done, second term's done, we've run out of terms in our row, so what we do is we go to our next uh, column. So we look again and we say our first term is 3, so we're going to be multiplying 3 by the first term in our second column, so we've got 3 and we multiply it by this number 6, 3, it's our first term in our first column, multiply it by our first term in our second column, so we multiply it by 6, and then we're going to add to that 4 times the number in our second column. So we've got 4 times by this 8. So we're going to add to that 4 multiplied by 8. And then we can see we've run out of terms in our um, second column. So then we'd go to our next row, but we don't have another row, so we finished multiplying our matrix. So we said 1 by 5, and then you add to that 2 by 7. Then we had 1 by 6, and we added to that 2 by 8, and that gave us our term up here. Then we had 3 times 5, and we added to that our 4 times by 7. Then we had 3 times 6, and we added to that our 4 times by 8. So then what we can do is we've got all these terms here. What we can actually do is that if I draw up a set of brackets, we can simplify this down into a much easier form. So I'll draw up a set of brackets. Oops, not very good. There we go. And what we can do is we can simplify it down. So we have 1 by 5, and we can add to that 2 times 7. So 1 times 5 is 5, plus our uh, 2 times 7 is 14. So we know that our first term in our matrix in our top, le top left hand corner is going to be 19, which is just that all simplified down. And then our next term, we know we have 1 times 6, and we're going to add to it 2 times 8. So 6 plus 16 is going to give us 22. And then down here, we've got 3 times 5, which is 15. And we're going to add to that 4 times 7, which is 28. So 15 plus 28 is going to give us 43. And then we come over here, and we've got 3 times 6, which is 18, and we're going to add to that 4 times 8, which is 32. So we've got 18 plus 32, that's going to give us 50. And so we, we started with these two matrices here, we went through this whole process, and we ended up with just these four numbers in a 2x2 two two matrix, exactly like we predicted. So you can see when we're multiplying matrices, 2 by 2 matrices, the result is also going to be a 2 by 2 matrix, and you've just got to follow this process here. It's quite tricky to do, just keep doing some practice and hopefully you guys get there. Um, good luck, I'll put out some examples for you to have a go at on multiplying 2 by 2 matrices.